the university where you get your engineering degree from can give you a bit of an edge in the workplace. I'll share with you guys the top five universities as per the QS BRICS ranking in 2018. Yeah. argue that it doesn't really matter where you get your degree from, where you get your qualification from. And it's not entirely true. Though syllabus might be similar from one university to the next, we know more than anybody in South Africa that the quality of education from one region to the other isn't necessarily consistent. So it is important that when you are choosing your, your preferred university to get your engineering qualification, especially your degree, um, that you do your research and you're mindful of the programs that each institution offers, um, the culture of each organization, because each institution and tertiary, um, and tertiary facility is an organization with a culture, with a leadership team, um, their programs that they drive, they're perceived and recognized a certain way by external stakeholders, even by organizations and, and potential employers that you will one day want to work for. So it's important that you're wise when you're choosing which organization um, you're wanting to join from when you're joining tertiary to get your degree um, and beyond. So I'll take you through um, the latest ranking in 2018 from the QS BRICS University ranking. You can find this on www.topuniversities.com and I'll focus only on the top five in South Africa. So there is a global ranking, obviously um, the top universities across the world, um, but we are wanting to compare like for like. So we'll only focus on the top five in South Africa. So in fifth place is the University of Johannesburg. Um, UJ has more than 50,000 students across its campuses, with its main campus being in Kingsway, in Auckland Park, um, in Johannesburg. UJ, um, as it's known today, is actually a merger of RAU, Rand Afrikaans University, and Witzwaterstrand Technikons, with a couple of um, Vista colleges that were merged together um, to then form UJ as we know it today. So it's ranked fifth in South Africa, um, and overall it's ranked 601 to 650 in the world. Fourth place is Stellenbosch University, which is one of the universities, one of the big universities in Cape Town. Um, so Stellenbosch um, has about 30,851 odd students on campus. Um, all of their nicknames, and there's a nickname for the students on campus called Makis. Um, globally in the world, it's ranked 361st. So Stellenbosch is, is probably one of the most disciplined universities. Um, competes quite highly with the University of Cape Town, um, but I'll share a little bit more of that when we get closer to UCT. City of Pretoria. So UP um, is on the outskirts of Joburg, so obviously in Pretoria, and it's one of the biggest universities in South Africa. It also has more than 50,000 students overall at UP. So it's ranked third um, in South Africa, but is actually ranked between 501 and 550 in the world. Um, it's also one of the most diverse universities, very similar to UJ. Um, and you find that there are parallels between UP and also with UJ. Second place is Witz University. So Witz University is actually a couple of kilometers away from UJ and Witz's main campus is in Bramfontein, which is on the outskirts of town. Um, is about a couple of kilometers away from Bree Taxier. It's also a big university with a lot of um, culture and depth um, known for its structure. We know that some of our political um, champions, I'll call them that, um, are from the University of uh, Witzwaterstrand. Very big competition between Witz um, and also with UJ because they're neighbors, because they're so close. Um, and yeah, so, so Witz is ranked second in South Africa in 2018. So you guys have guessed it, in first place is the University of Cape Town. What's interesting is that there's a strong competition between the first place position between UCT um, and also Wits. 
because between the years it alternates between University of Cape Town in first place and also Witwatersrand. One of the universities that has improved quite substantially is UJ, um, which has come up five places from the previous um, previous assessments. So we are seeing a bit of movement, a bit of movement and strengthening in our universities in South Africa. But as I mentioned earlier, it's very important that when you're making your decision on where you're going to get your, your engineering degree, that you do your research, you understand the facilities, um, that you speak to people that have gone to those universities as well. Um, usually they give, they give faculty books, so you can also read up about some of the faculty heads, their qualifications, how many publications the university has, because that also contributes to how it's weighted, um, how it's recognized globally, and the level of research and academia that they that they push and expose um, students to to get immersed in. So please stay tuned. Um, I will share more videos around engineering, your development, around the differences between PR Edge and GCC, and also how you can take decisions and make decisions now that will gear you up for success in the future. Till next time, see you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Shop.